Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us here in conversation today. Uh, we're going to talk about finances. Uh, are you looked after? What do you need to look after? And there's a lot of questions that we could go through. But joining us here today, uh, my friend David Noel from Investors Group. Thanks for being here, David. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. You know, it's uh, this is a really interesting industry that you're in involved with. And I know you and I have talked several times about uh, maybe people are intimidated about uh, mm -hmm. dealing with a financial advisor and who do I give my money to? And um, I guess the first question I would have for you is when people ask, what, what do you do for people? How do you, how do you answer that? Well, do you want the half hour answer <laughs> or the two minute answer? Let's start with two minutes. All right. Well, the two minute answer is really helping people understand where they are now. A uh, financial planner has been trained in uh, group benefits and insurance and um, uh, financial investments and has been trained how to really understand their clients so they can provide what's best for them. What's best for them? Well, I use this handy tool called Nine Boxes because essentially there are three different things that as adults we have to take care of. Um, one of them is our death, what happens if we get sick, and what are we going to do for retirement. So what I do is I go through with my clients to help them understand what benefits are available for those three things from the government, from the employer. Um, many, uh, many employers have group benefit plans, and I'll talk a little bit about that. And then when it comes down to the, uh, to the end, it's really what do you want out of life? What do you want from retirement? What type of lifestyle would you like to have now? What lifestyle would you like to have when you retire? And what lifestyle would you like for your end of life? So looking at your goals, looking at longevity is all an, imp an important part of, uh, of a financial planner. And the nine boxes strategy really helps me explain things how they are to individuals in an individual case and then we talk about if there's a gap in what's going to be provided for you and what you need then we create plans that you can review and uh, and understand and if you choose to move forward and get help coordinating that, because not everyone uh, can afford to do everything. But what we do is we make it real for those who have come to see us. You know, a planning for, for somebody uh, just starting out in life is going to be a lot different than folks that are in the end of their life. And that's... It's terrific. Right. So you provide a lot of, uh, of advice and, and different services to cover all those areas you talk about. Um, uh, what about this question, though, um, before we move on? Do you have to have a lot of money to talk to you? No. And thank you for that question, because it's, it's that reason why I got into this business <laughs> about 15 years ago. I moved uh, from London, Ontario uh, to Sarnia. And I was looking for a, a planner myself. And the planners that I was referred to, uh, if I didn't have a half a million dollars, you couldn't get any yeah, other yeah. time. So that's an unfortunate part of this industry, but it's an, an important part because I don't feel that we should be withholding services in that way. Uh, yes, I've got many clients that have got lots of money um, but what I need is people with a passion for planning, right. people who want to understand what they have in place, people who care about the future. And if you care, then I'll care. I don't care if you're 25 working at a entry level job or 35 if you're um, doing house cleaning. Um, well, everybody it makes, makes every, no difference. Everybody needs a plan, and I think uh, I, you know. There's a saying that most people don't plan to fail; they fail to plan, mm -hmm. and exactly. that's what you do, and, yeah. and that's great. What kind of? Uh, how do you provide these services? Well, um, most of my clients uh, come to me by referral. 
which means, you know, I might be doing some work for their friend or family and their friend and family then uh, hears of a financial planning question or need or an understanding and they understand what I do. I'm a coach. I, I help people understand things. Mm -hmm. And uh, so referrals is one way. Uh, another way, um, I get phone calls, I get emails, um, uh, I get text messages yeah. out of the blue. Um, <laughs> I had somebody um, uh, pocket dial me oh. who is now a client. There you go. <laughs> and they pocket dial me uh, probably once or twice a month. And finally, we had a real conversation and I was able to help that gentleman's uh, son who was looking for a mortgage. So. That's great. So it comes from, from, from everywhere, right? All and I might add too, like, uh, you know, in the beginning, just to sit down and talk with you is absolutely free. You just just give you a call or a text or however, and we'll, we'll let everybody yeah. know how they can reach yeah. out to we you. We can do it in the office. We can do it for coffee somewhere. Yeah. I'm easy. And right. I like sushi. Oh, there you go. Perfect. There's a new place <laughs> here in Starting. We've got to check that out, actually. <laughs> yeah, I do. Just before we go, and we'll wrap it up, um, what would you say, David, I, I know you love helping people. I've gotten to know you personally as well. And uh, I think, you know, there's a big care factor in there. I know you have a lot Thank of integrity. You. Um, and I can honestly say that because I use your services. So I'm not, I'm, you're not paying me to say that. I'm paying you for me to say that, I think, or something. <laughs> but what is your favorite part about the financial industry? My favorite part is the truth part. The truth part in talking with anyone who cares. Um, it's very rewarding to help people get started and take them through numerous years and see where in there where they end up um last year i won a uh, uh oba award outstanding business award for a customer service as an individual and i take that very 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 yes, it's very important part of, of the business it was well earned because we want people to feel comfortable when they come in the office i want people to feel comfortable when they come to their house <laughs> And I want people to have comfort that I'm not going to sell them something that they don't, that need. They don't need or yeah. they're not interested in. You tell me what you need help with, I can help. That's fantastic. Hopefully. I'm sure that you can. <laughs> and uh, you, I know people, uh, you've looked uh, very well after myself and Jennifer, and we're grateful for that because we didn't have anything in place. And we started scratching our heads, and, and um, uh, we're glad to have met you. So uh, Well, many thanks. people. Thank you. Thanks for all that you do. Many people make New Year's resolutions and they're broken. <laughs> uh, many people come and see me at the beginning of a month or say, you know, I tried doing this on my own and I, yep. I went to the internet and I tried to Google <laughs> help. And you ever see what happens if you Google RRSP yeah. or tax savings? Well, Google's kind of the graffiti wall of the world. You got to cipher through it all and, and you save all that time. There's so much <laughs> out there and, you know, that's my job. I know what's there and I know how to help people start and help people get the ball rolling. Just don't bite off too much at once. That's great. Thank you so much, David, once again for joining us and talking with us here. David Noel, reach out to him. We're going to show you how you can uh, contact David Noel. Maybe you can pocket dial him or something. And uh, we're going to be uh, talking with him in the future. You can learn some other uh, financial advice. Um, and coming up in the future as well. But just give them a call and talk to them today. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you again next time.